single channel queuing model. In order to use single channel queuing model, the following assumptions need to be made. And here are single channel queuing equations. Note that customers in the system refer to customers who are waiting and customers who are getting the service. And customers in the queue refer to customers who are waiting only. Let's look at an example. It says that Aman's barber shop has one barber named Raju. Since there is only one barber, this problem is a single channel queuing model. So S is equals to 1. And then it says that customers arrive at the shop at the rate of 2 per hour. It also says that Raju takes 15 minutes to perform a haircut. Thus lambda is equals to 2 customers per 1 hour and mu is equals to 1 haircut per 15 minutes. Change 15 minutes to 60 minutes, which is 1 hour, by multiplying 15 with 4. Since 15 is multiplied with 4, 1 must also be multiplied with 4. So now mu becomes 4 haircuts per 1 hour. To calculate the average number of customers at the shop, the average number of customers waiting for a haircut, the average time a customer spends at the shop, the average time a customer spends waiting before getting a haircut, and the probability that Raju is free, simply substitute the value of lambda and mu into the equations. To calculate total cost per hour spent by Aman's barber shop, identify service costs and waiting costs. It says that Raju is paid by the shop owner 5 ringgit per hour for his service. And the shop owner estimates that the cost of customer waiting time in terms of customer dissatisfaction and lost goodwill is 10 ringgit per hour. Thus, service cost is equal to 5 and waiting cost is equal to 10. To calculate total cost, simply substitute the value of S, service cost, lambda, W and waiting cost into the formula of total cost. Now, let's look at question B. It says that suppose that the shop owner knows another barber named Gopal who can give a haircut in 10 minutes. The shop owner wants to hire Gopal. Gopal agrees to work at the shop only if he were paid 8 ringgit per hour. Determine whether it is worthwhile to replace Raju with Gopal. To determine whether it is worthwhile to replace Raju with Gopal, calculate total cost for Gopal and compare it with total cost for Raju. Service cost for Gopal is 8 while waiting cost is the same as Raju, which is 10. Lambda for Gopal is the same as Raju, which is 2 customers per 1 hour, while mu for Gopal is 1 haircut per 10 minutes. Change 10 minutes to 60 minutes, which is 1 hour, by multiplying 10 with 6. Since 10 is multiplied with 6, 1 must also be multiplied with 6. So now mu becomes 6 haircuts per 1 hour. Calculate W for Gopal by substituting the value of lambda and mu into the formula of W. And then calculate total cost for Gopal by substituting the value of S, service cost, lambda, W and waiting cost into the formula of total cost. Since total cost for Gopal is less than total cost for Raju, it is worthwhile to replace Raju with Gopal.